Michael Nagy here with Jiggy Jag TV and DiscoveringBands.com. And for everyone watching right now, if you can share this video and my channel and help support the awesome bands I feature. And today I'm here with Lynx. How are you doing today? I'm doing really well. How are you? Good. It's good to have you. Thank now, you. You want to start off by telling us a little bit about your um, musical background? Sure. Um, I, let's see. I started writing songs quite young um, and I started playing piano. I took piano lessons. Well, I started them uh, when I was like six. I don't know. I took them for eight years. So that was like my, I think, introduction to like music in general. And then I didn't start writing until I was about 15 or so. Uh, and then I ended up going to Berkeley College of Music very randomly, honestly, because um, I was super like unsure of what, what I wanted to do. And now I am here, and I've just been continuously writing, writing stuff. Awesome. Now, what brought you into the type of music you're into, the whole dark electronic pop genre? How did you get into that? <sighs> I, I think it's something I've always, I had always wanted to do, and I wasn't quite sure how to communicate it for a very long time. Uh, I had always listened to that type of music, or I don't know, I guess darker stuff or more aggressive stuff. And then I, but I was writing pop music for like very, very pop like type music for a long time. I think just, I was very unsure of how to communicate the type of style that I wanted. But, um, uh, I think finally with this record, I've been really able to kind of, I was able to communicate the, <laughs> everything and really just, um, start making the music I really, really wanted to make. Yeah. Now you just released your uh, debut album. How long were you working on that for? So the music was written a long time ago, actually. I had written like all the lyrics and the melodies on piano with, you know, just singing and like vocals and piano, honestly, for, uh, they were all written like two years ago. And besides one, besides doesn't matter anyway, that was a recent one, but they were all written uh, a while ago and then I finally got into the studio in the summer of 2019 and in August and I, we were finished by November. So the writing process took forever, but the recording process took just a few months. It was quite quick compared to a lot of, I think, projects in general. Yeah. And you want to tell us a little about the album, some of the themes of the album, what the album's about? Yeah. So it's called Become the Root and it's, basically an embodiment of my early 20s um i'm 26 now and it was basically just it's all about like this just the confusion and just like throwing shit just being like what's working what's not working uh and kind of just growing through that so i like to think of like it's all about like kind of growing growing but also remembering where you came from so like kind of staying rooted in what made you to be the way you are, even if it's good or bad or whatever, all of the shit, uh, just kind of sticking with you so you can always have a place to come back to even when you do grow or so. Say. Yeah. I think you're already working on new music already for the next uh, release, right? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yes. I'm starting to uh, produce my music. My plan is to produce this the next album in the next few singles. And I'm really excited about these, especially because I, you know, having total control of the musical elements, um, you know, really like just doing everything, really just, <clears throat> you're able to completely communicate fully what, what you want. So I'm really excited about it because it, it's like, wow, like I really have full control over everything. And I'm, I'm it's more like, dance honestly it's like more dancey in ways and it's it's sci-fi it's not like about anything i've written before so okay, you're taking it a little different direction right yeah yeah absolutely it's all about aliens so <laughs> that fits the genre perfect sorry that fits the genre perfect the whole uh you know electronic dark or cyberpunk yeah. movie, so that's cool yeah, I'm excited. It's like I get to write a story. Like it's I've always pulled from my own experiences, but this time I feel like 
you know, let's like write a completely new thing that's completely outside of who I am and just, I don't know, I'm, I'm really pumped about it. Yeah, it's, it's an exciting project. Awesome. Now, if people want to find you online, look you up, find your music, how do they do that? Yeah, you can find me pretty much everywhere under Lynx Music. So it's L-L-Y-N-K-S Music. And if it's not that, which I think it's only my YouTube, that's just Lynx. But everything else has music attached to it online. Yeah. My artist's name is Lynx, yeah. <laughs> Do you have any plans for maybe some uh, online streams or virtual shows since you can't play live right now? I did one uh, recently with the Portland Sessions, which is really cool. Uh, I think I need to get my sound figured out a little bit better to like, because I, what I would really eventually like to do is do like full productions, whereas I've been doing acoustic sessions. Well, I did one acoustic session. Uh, but yeah, if I, I don't have any planned, honestly, right now, but if the opportunity arises, I would so be about it, absolutely. Cool. But I want to ask, how have you handled the uh, quarantine time? Uh, I feel like I've actually been pretty productive during this time. At first, I absolutely was not, you know, and but then I got into this routine <clears throat> where I, you know, I have this, I actually do have a, like a, a home studio right now, so... I kind of just made this room be like, this is my work room. Like I only work here. So I've been working on music every day, pretty much like, so I've just been working away on this new album. And that's what's been keeping me motivated through this whole time is just having something to work on. Because if I didn't, I would just be super depressed. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, music like, <laughs> like half of quarantine, it was horrible. I was just like, what? is the point <laughs> but yeah Be having something to work on like creating a new project for myself has been so helpful for me yeah now where would you like to see the project in a few years from now um wow that's a good question i think what i mostly want is just to be like content in the day-to-day -day routine that's what i want like i've gone through so much like like doubt and stuff with like lack of growth or whatever that is supposed to mean but i think what truly will make me happy is just being like constantly having a project to work on you know taking control of it so i want to continue pro like being the producer as well as the singer and songwriter um, and i would love to like have the music be you know featured in films and tv because i think there's a really cinematic element that I've always been drawn to in like cinematic music. And uh, yeah, I don't know where the world is going to be. So I don't know about live shows, honestly. You know, I don't really have any goals for live live music anymore. But uh, yeah, I'd like to like make my set better for live streaming at least and just continue to make better stuff, write new stories and just grow as a producer and a songwriter, really. Awesome. I, I never think about like four, five years ahead. I'm so impulsive. I'm just like, I don't know. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, it was good having you and talk with you. And everyone, look her up. Thank you. Thank you so much. It was awesome to do this.